hello! In this video, we are going to walk through MindTap, the online solution for career and technical education courses. Four, Ryan's Personal Financial Literacy, the third edition. You are looking at the interface for MindTap. On the left-hand side is what we call the learning path, or the outline view of the textbook. If you had a print copy of Personal Financial Literacy, the third edition in front of you, you'd notice that there are also four units in that textbook. And when we open unit one, there would be three chapters. All of the ebook content, as well as any assessment, study tools and resources, and um, workbook pages would be included in MindTap for Personal Financial Literacy. I just created this course and there's already 49 activities available for unit one. Everything is already aligned and built into the learning path as soon as you open the course for the first time. Let's take a look in Unit 1 to see what you would find in an individual unit. You'll notice that each unit starts with an introductory reading, and then you've got your individual chapters. After students work through those chapters, they will have their unit project. If we take a look at the unit project for Unit 1, it's going to have the interactive ebook and a description of the project that they're working on, as well as the critical thinking questions. Then they'll work through a unit assignment, which could be um, a number of different types of activities. Students click Start Assignment Now. For Unit 1, you'll see that there is a real-world scenario with a student named Shiro, and students are going to answer multiple questions as we move through that real-world scenario. Now, these assignments would be automatically graded, but students can get immediate feedback. As I select my answer, I can click Check My Work, and it will give me immediate feedback. If there's any more to learn from that feedback, I can click this X, and it'll give me additional information. Now, if you don't want students to be able to get immediate feedback during the assignment, you can always change that in the assignment settings as the teacher. As soon as students click Submit Assignment for Grading, their score and answers would appear in your gradebook. The gradebook is accessed over here with this Progress app on the right-hand app dock. Now, any worksheets from the Student Activities Guide would also be included in the Mind Tap, and it's going to allow me to download those. So every unit would have multiple worksheets that students would work through for their project, in that first unit, they're actually working on a business plan. They're working on a cost push inflation worksheet, um, learning about economic systems and more. There would also be an auto graded unit test, which pulls from the test bank for the course. Let's take a look at chapter one to see what you would find in, in an individual chapter. Each chapter will also start with an introductory reading. This opens the interactive ebook and any images or figures that you would see in your print text will also be in this ebook. Now, as students read through a chapter, they would have a chapters activity folder, and you'll notice that the reading is broken up by lesson, and after students complete a lesson reading, they'll have a vocabulary review practice assignment to help test comprehension of key skills. Let's open reading activity 1-1. Now, this does a lot more than a flat ebook. If there are, you know, little questions or comprehension checks within the text. They may be interactive like this one. Any key terms will be hyperlinked with the definition. And all of the key terms that are in the textbook will also already have pre-constructed flashcards that students can study over here by clicking flashcards. These can be easily printed, studied online, or studied on a mobile phone. As students are reading, both students and teachers have the ability to annotate the ebook with one of four highlighting colors, or they can add notes or have the text read out loud to them. Teachers have a fifth color, orange, and this is a shared highlight. So if there's something that's very, very important that I want to make sure my students pay attention to, I can highlight it in orange. And then when my students come through and read the ebook, they'll see that pre-highlighted. Likewise, teachers can also add notes and click the share button and save. Once they do that, the note will live in the margin and will be available to all students as they come through and read, helping students have directed reading even when you're not with them in the classroom. Within this ebook, students can have the entire page read aloud to them. They can change the size of the text, bookmark pages, and even print pages out. 
For teachers, you actually have a pencil tool which allows you to add any kind of files, PowerPoint lectures, um, PDFs, web links, or videos into the ebook itself. By clicking the pencil tool, plus signs will appear, and anywhere there's a plus sign, I can add a resource from my Google Drive or my Microsoft OneDrive. I can also add RSS feeds, web links, or a YouTube video. Let's say that I have a video that goes really well with this beginning of the course. I can search for it and I don't have to leave mine tab. I will find my video and I can add any text before or after that video to direct my students. And I can even preview the video here to make sure it's the right one that I want. Once I click continue, that video has now been added right within the text of the ebook so students can watch it in line with the rest of the text. I'm going to pop out of the ebook now and check out one of these vocabulary review activities. Now these are set up as practice. Teachers can still see the grades and submissions for students for a practice assignment, but they won't be calculated toward their full grade. Teachers can um, obviously change that to graded if you want. And again, these could be matching. Students can check my work and get some instant feedback before they submit. After students complete their reading and vocabulary reviews, they'll always have some um, building communication, math skills, verbal skills, writing skills. They're going to be 21st century skills activities. If I open this one for listening, you'll see that students will have to answer questions after listening to some audio. So this would play for me. Nonverbal communication. And that would play for me and I would be able to then make my selections using that. Um, note that you can download a transcript for this uh, if students would rather have that for accessibility. In math skills, um, students are going to again have real world scenarios where they're going to be doing some basic math calculations. This is great practice for students. And if I do allow the students to have my check my work feature, they can click check my work. And you'll notice that they'll get enhanced feedback here where we'll also have a sample problem that's similar to the one above for students to help see how that problem might be solved. After students work through those activities in the chapters activity folder, they'll have chapter review. This includes the full um, assessment that would be found at the end of each chapter in the textbook, including a summary overview, academic connections, which offer uh, hands-on activities that relate to cross-curriculars, and they can always link back to the learning objective within the ebook to read more. Do the math activities provide even more math practice in real-world scenarios? And then they'll also have take action where they'll get hands on with real financial documents. Um, students will also have additional activities in the review folder. In this one, we have a job description activity where students are reading a job description uh, that relates to the business and finance career cluster. And then they have to answer questions to make sure they're understanding how to read that job description accurately. There will be auto graded quizzes, which could be used as a homework grade, and then chapter tests, which could be used as a test grade. Now, if I wanted to change any of this, hide it, rename it, or edit it, as a teacher, I can turn the edit toggle on. This allows me to hide anything I don't want my students to see or edit anything. If I want to edit this test, I can add a description and add availability and due dates down to the hour and the minute. Um, so this is a great way to make sure that students are only accessing activities when you want them to be accessed. You can change where this lives within the learning path itself and click edit activity at options to find even more options to be able to edit this activity. Whether that's how it's delivered to the student, the point value, um, what questions are included in the assignment, and so on. All of the assignments in this course are powered by the See Now app that you'll find over on the right hand app dock. If you click this, you'll find a complete listing of all of the assignments practiced and graded that are in the course. And you can even print out blank versions of the assignment, print out uh, assignment keys to have your solution, or edit the assignments. After students complete these activities, quiz and chapter test, again, they would move on to the next unit. This was a quick tour of MindTap for Personal Financial Literacy, the third edition. Please let us know if you have any questions. 
you can always find us at ngl.cengage.com backslash CTE. Thank you.